Yeah. All right. Hi everyone. I'm Dr. Saurav Sharma. So let us see this uh, questions in ophthalmology which came yesterday in INICT November 2025. So let's see the first one. The first one was a clinical question in glaucoma, and this has been asked in all the recent exams, whether it is a NEET exam or FMG exam or even INICT now. That a patient present with sudden onset of pain, headache, blurred vision, and colored halos. Yesterday, also while recall, I told you acute red eye question. There are very few causes of uh, emergency in ophthalmology, so acute red eye is very hot topic. And this examination reveals a mid dilated pupil. So even if you don't know if mid dilated pupil, you should know anterior vitis cannot be the answer because in anterior vitis the pupil is small and constricted. The pupil is small and constricted, that is small irregular pupil, that because of posterior synechia, which can lead to ring synechia and which can lead to iris bombay pupil block mechanism. But the pupil is small. Everything can be same in secondary angle closure due to anterior and the answer of this question acute primary angle closure except this pupil. In acute primary angle closure, the eyeball is very small. Usually happens in hypermetropia patients, small eyes, small entry chamber. Pupil is, when the pupil is dilated due to midriatics or darkness, there is a pupil block mechanism, iris bombay, same as anterior But the clinching point is, this walk triad showing a dilated pupil. Vertically dilated pupil is a clinching point of diagnosis between primary, acute primary angle closure and acute anterior If everything is the same, Expect this question next time. Everything same. Maybe patient coming after watching movie also, neat exam. But the pupil is small and irregular. Answer will be secondary angle closure due to antibiotics. Here it is a mid dilated pupil. Pressure is very high. That is acute angle closure. Now in new vascular glaucoma, they should give that um, there should some uh, iris vessels are seen, abnormal vessels are seen in the iris. That also can lead to very high pressure, severe eye pain. Whenever there is a high pressure, there is a acute red eye, can be steamy cornea because the aqueous can imbibe into the cornea, can happen in phacomorphic. But in that, they have to tell you extra things that maybe a patient, a diabetic patient in a new vascular glaucoma or a central lateral artery, central lateral vein occlusion patient with iris vessels, rubiosis, iridis. In phacomorphic, they should tell you that the patient is having a intumescent cataract, a swollen lens will be there, which is now pushing the iris causing shallow enter chamber or uh, higher pressures. So that is not given. The swollen lens is not given. Iris rubiosis iris is not given. Small constricted pupil is not given. So answer is primary, acute primary angle closure glaucoma. The treatment also they can ask you intravenous mannitol that is given instantaneously plus pilocarpin because the treatment of choice is laser iridotomy. That is the first question. Good sort of uh, acute primary angle closure. Acute red eye is a very hot topic, right? Second clinical question, again uh, acute red eye because the patient was having painful blurred vision with photophobia that is intolerance to normal light after wearing contact lens. Now if slit lamp picture is not given, then most common contact lens associated uh, organism is pseudomonas. For that, gram stain will be given. But this picture is showing some ring infiltrates, ring-like infiltrates with a patient of a keratitis is suggestive of a canthamoeba keratitis that is ring infiltrates for that we investigated corneal scraping and we sent to culture non neutrino coli and this acridine orange and calq4 white calq4 i wrote in calq4 but the correct answer my total complete answer which was asked yesterday was which stain is used that is calq4 white culture has been asked multiple times non neutrino e. coli culture but the stain is calcifer white or acridine orange. And treatment is uh, a propamidine plus polyhexamethylene bigonides one hourly, one hourly. If you know from the class, acanthamoeba and fungus is compared with signs are less symptoms are more in acanthamoeba. Excruciating pain, but symptoms are uh, signs are less, symptoms are more. In fungal keratitis, signs are more, symptoms are less. So this also is a acute red eye question because that is a coronal ulcer. Alright, 
मुस्कान द क्रुकन वर्स पेंडल क्वेश्चन इज दिस वन द क्रुकन वर्स पेंडल आर सीन इन विच कंडीशन इट इज सीन इन ग्लोकोमा द आंसर इज पिगमेंट्री ग्लोकोमा बट सी वाई पी वाई क्यूज आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज सी मुस्कान यू सी दैट इन सॉरी आईना सिटी मे टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू विथ क्वेश्चन वॉज आज नॉट रिलेटेड दिस इज मे टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू नॉट रिलेटेड टू कॉम्प्लीकेटेड कैटर कॉम्प्लीकेटेड कैटर इज मोस्ट कॉमनली सीन आफ्टर एनी इंट्रोक पैथोलॉजी लाइक वीआईटेज पॉलिकोमेटिक क्लस्टर ब्लड कम अपियरेंस पोस्टर्स ऑफ कैप्सूल कैटर वाई वी ऑलवेज से टू नो वट वट लुक एट द अदर ऑप्शन एज वेल इन द पी वाई क्यू हेर द आंसर वॉज क्यूक इन वर्ल्ड सो इफ यू हैव सॉल्व दिस पी वाई क्यू यू शुड हैव नोन that cucumber spindle can be asked seen in which condition it is seen in pigmentary glaucoma now pigmentary glaucoma is a very uh, special i always say special because it's seen in young male young male conditions are very special in ophthalmology a young myopic male comes up to exercise with high pressure and i ask multiple times why what could be the reason of high iop in a young male after exercise i ask the students to tell in the class वेरियस थ्यूरीज दे गेव उल्टा खड़ा हो गया क्या पता ज्यादा पानी पी लिया क्या पता स्टीरोड खाकर आ गया बट पिगमेंट रिलेटेड आई टेल देम टू टेक टाइम टू आंसर दिस क्वेश्चन बिकॉज दिस इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन एंड इज आस्ट इफ आई इफ द एक्सरसाइज वट है देर इज अ रिवर्स कॉन्फिग्रेशन ऑफ अ आयरस एंड ड्यू टू क्लोज प्रॉक्सिमिटी टू द जोन्यूज आयरस एंड जोन्यूज दे रब अगेंस्ट इच अदर सो पिगमेंट्री मीन्स पिगमेंट्स ऑफ द आयरस आर रिलीज ऑल ऑफ द आई which can stick onto the posterior means endothelium of the cornea that is known as crooked bird spindles it is open angle glaucoma because pigments are blocking the mesh work and iris is losing the pigments so normally red reflex is seen in pupil more reflex is seen from the periphery as well that is iris trans illumination defects i compare this reverse glaucoma with inverse glaucoma that is malignant glaucoma that is aqueous misdirection that was also one of the options in this but crooked bird spindles is seen in pigmentary glaucoma you should know this it's a pyq no mistakes in pyq should be made okay muskan now now here some uh, students have told that infant was there some said no the infant was there that's why i answered so i am writing this infant pre verbal infant visual acuity which are the uh, things used so no doubt ETDRS cannot be used. See, ETDRS is a chart like this. Again, a PYQ in INS ET of the ZAR was the full form of ETDRS. So you should know one more thing about that. ETDRS has the form sense. Patient has to tell H, V, Z, whatever letters. Pre-verbal child or infant cannot tell. Landolt's E chart, C chart is for illiterate. They can tell the direction of the E and C. For infants, we have four things. Menace reflex cannot quantify. If you just uh, scare a child with close eyes so you will know the child is having some uh, vision or not but you cannot quantify if you quantify by teller's chart that was in the option you can also quantify by optokinetic nystagmus the physiological nystagmus you rotate a drum that there is a nystagmus and there is a visual evoked response that was not in the option so these two are a visual active measurement in a infant particularly in a pre verbal infant and that is the answer of this question now some say that uh, infant was not there so here the answer directly can be 1 and 3 now if only pre verbal is given if only if only pre verbal infant is not there and age is not given then in pre verbal landolts can be done if it's a bigger child he can tell the direction he can tell the direction of c e whatever but that was not in the options like that that's why the best answer is 1 and 3 that is no doubt in that yeah ashish was infant so answer has to be 1 and 3 that is optokinetic nystagmus drum and tellers There is a 17 Teller's chart, and Oaken okay, drum is a PYQ again because it was asked in uh, uh, one from Jipmer that uh, optokinetic nystagmus is based on which mechanism? Saccades and pursuits. Saccades fast, pursuits slow. This was a PYQ as well. Good, good. Okay, enough. Okay, now the next question is a myopic astigmatism patient presented with again acute three question on acute red eye. history is significant for eye rubbing and frequent change of glasses all are going in favor of keratoconus that is myopic astigmatism rubbing secondary rubbing like in uh, vernal keratoconjunctivitis or in down syndrome orphans 
and due to astigmatism there is frequent change of glasses but the answer is not keratoconus the same question same or not similar similar question i have in my workbook uh, nephrology and i have kept this question in my uh, in my book nephrology in my workbook as well this time in my workbook i have given uh, at the end of any chap many chapters i have given uh, all the chapters i have given some mcqs so this is similar question which i have given in my workbook which is from my nephrology book 19 a question in my cornea chapter second edition is coming first edition is this that the here also it is keratoconus but the answer is not keratoconus at acute hydrops so what happens in acute hydrops when there is a desmond membrane is the most elastic layer it ruptures aqueous embayment to the cornea leading to corneal edema that's the only reason of acute red eye in keratoconus patient so that is and the management also i have given in 19b the 19b in my nephrology book is the management of uh, and this is blue blue means must know question that is acute hydro management is so if you know what is uh, acute hydrops desmond membrane rupture if desmond membrane ruptures there is no reason of ccr if desmond membrane ruptures dsek endothelium transplantation is no first thing inct should give the full form it's very bad from them that they have not given the full form they should give full form in the options they have not given this time i have confirmed but that's not a correct way of uh, giving the question so dsek endothelium transplant there is no problem in endothelium that is not the answer dlk is not the answer because uh, if if there is a desmond rupture medical management does not work which i'll tell you then a penetrating keratoblastic is done so the only option left is this and a bubble is also there na? that is intracranial gas injection done for acute heart first the medical management is you for the corneal edema you give a topical hypertonic saline by osmosis it will take the water out of the cornea then intracranial gas injection is one option then penetrating keratoplasty because penetrating not the dalk anything because the desmond is ruptured there is no purpose of dalk anterior lamellar entire cornea to be transplanted so by ruling out the option you could have answered this question first it is not keratoconus it is acute hydrops in keratoconus then the answer is management is intracranial gas injection that is c3 if it is one of the options all right so 1 2 3 4 three questions on acute red eye is there now next uh, and the last which i have got is patient with meiosis is there ptosis is there anhydrosis is there now ptosis meiosis anhydrosis means they are asking the question on horner syndrome horner syndrome is always a unilateral condition when the problem is in a sympathetic pathway so there is no relation of vagus and abducens answer is between sympathetic pathway but if you have attended the class you should know in sympathetic pathway the sweating fibers they don't go into post ganglion so if there is a post ganglionic horner syndrome like in ic aneurysm like in cavernous sinus syndrome sweating is normal in this patient see this loss of sweating anhydrosis is not seen in post ganglion so like in cavernous sinus ica sweating is normal this central cervical sympathetic chain or maybe pre ganglion that is associated with sweating loss in horner syndrome so the only option in which sweating can be lost and otherwise can be present is before the ganglion and in the option cervical sympathetic chain is the most likely answer of this question that is all questions which i have uh, got one question from the lobes the visual scanning from which low parietal frontal physiology have taken uh, the the question that one one question of retinoblastoma gene pathology people have taken that that's why there is a eight questions are almost there in ophthal but it's a uh, integrated question uh, that's why when the lobes question taken by physiology the retinoblastoma question that is a pathology question the genes were there then there was a jogren syndrome medicine question in which sharma sharma test was there but the question was uh, to know the diagnosis how to confirm the diagnosis of uh, jogren that was maybe auto antibodies that's why integrated question not exact ophthal question all right that is the questions from my side i hope you have done well i hope you will get a good seat let me know if you have got it a good seat after the results thank you very much best wishes for the result